This is what it looked like at the Oakland Zoo entrance Saturday as the rain came down. This is what it looked like in the same spot on Sunday. The incredible velocity and volume of the water that was coming down uh, just wreaked havoc across the zoo. Uh, drainage systems weren't able to keep up. Uh, mud was uh, coming off the hillside, across our pathways and our, our parking lot. And worst of all, this sinkhole formed under the vehicle entrance to the Oakland Zoo during the rain. Now the facility will be closed for at least two weeks because of that. I was shocked when um, I heard the news that they had a sinkhole. Chris Pagan drives a school bus and goes to the Oakland Zoo once a week. It's a bright spot for me. I can't imagine not going every week now. It's become such a routine for me. Love the place. This should give you an idea of how bad it is out here at the Oakland Zoo. I'm six foot five, and these massive drainage pipes couldn't even handle all of the water when it came down. It's been probably 50 years since we've seen something of this magnitude. Because of the damage, the zoo's Glofari Lantern Festival is also closed. Refunds will be given, but still a shame to those like Caitlin Jackson, who has already attended the event twice this year. People don't think about how just some rain. We need it so desperately in this state, and yet, you know, the wrong time and the wrong volume can really cause problems for folks. As to when the zoo will open back up. The short answer is I don't know. We're hoping in the next few weeks, we're gonna do the best we can. Uh, we've got the best contractors available to get it fixed. And we're gonna do our best to open up as soon as possible. I hope so too. I'll be there the first day they, uh, they reopen. I can't wait to get back. In Oakland, J.R. Stone, ABC7 News.